Nick Baker's back with his weird creatures. Is it still on? Yes. <laughs> they paid him up front. <laughs> this week he was after the four and a half meter long basking shark. And a big shark like that, I would have thought that was easy enough to spot. Not for Nick Baker. Now, if this was David Attenborough, he'd have spent months researching the best place to find one, what time of year the most prevalent, and before he started filming, he tracked one for a couple of days, if not weeks. Nick has a slightly different approach. Haven't any basking sharks, have you? <laughs> Are you kidding? You're not? Not today, no. no. <laughs> Seen a shark, anyone? <laughs> Just sails around on the off chance. <laughs> He's found one, hasn't he? Look, we've hardly left Penzance Harbour and we already have what has to be the second weirdest fish in the world after the basking shark for me it is the, uh, the a sunfish. <laughs> oh no, it's a sunfish. <laughs> <laughs> what about over there? Well, that's our consolation prize. We have a grey seal. <laughs> a seal? I thought we were looking for a shark. The otters more than make up for our limited success with the sharks in Scotland. No, they don't. <laughs> I tuned in to see a four and a half metre shark. It's a shark programme. If you told me it was a seal and otter programme, I wouldn't have bothered. <laughs> We've got kitty weights, we've got herring gulls, we've got black back gulls, we've got uh, gannets. Seagulls? <laughs> You're just filming anything now. I've been here yesterday, it's one of those. That's a dog! <laughs> That's Torval. It's not even an animal! <laughs> Look, the sky! Look, the car! Come on, Nick! Having given Plankton this massive build-up now, I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint you. We've only caught about three. <laughs> We've gone from a four-and-a-half-metre shark <laughs> to three Plankton. <laughs> Not exactly very threatening, are they? <laughs> what kind of damage can three Plankton do? <laughs> well, I suppose if two Plankton held it down... <laughs> ..the other one could attack it. <laughs> they could rough up a flea. Or worry a tadpole. <laughs> so what's his conclusion? For one thing's for certain, these fish are no respecters of professional qualifications. In fact, the public stand just as much of a chance of seeing one from their deck chair or sitting on the beach. <laughs> Great! Thanks a bunch! <laughs> Another hour of my life I'll never get back. <laughs> it's probably time you went home, isn't it, Nick? When you're in this game, you always expect the unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, what's that? <laughs> you got up in trousers. <laughs> Kepa. Kepa, you silly I wonder where he's come from. I think you've been eating something that doesn't agree with you. Nice, we've got a <laughs> sick ferret. <laughs> a sick ferret. So that's a sunfish, a seal, some seagulls, three plankton and a sick ferret. <laughs> you've got a nerve. <laughs> Actually, if he'd only driven on a bit further... Always expect the unexpected. There was a basking shark hitchhiking. <laughs> oh, look! It's Baby Holly off Coronation Street, escaping on the back of a dog. Someone tell Jason! <laughs> no, be fair, because Nick is respecting the basking shark's privacy. I mean, there is a code of conduct to obey. There are clear guidelines about how... Keep four metres away. Yeah, Nick has his own code of conduct. <laughs> oh, I'd like to keep a million miles away from Nick Baker. <laughs> Unless you're an otter, a seagull, plankton in groups of no greater than three... <laughs> ..or a sick ferret. <laughs> but which is the better catch, a seagull or a sick ferret? <laughs> There's only one way to find out. Fire! <laughs> 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 <laughs>